Hey guys, welcome back to Infinite Gaming HD, and today we're going to be talking about the Pacers. <clears throat> Pacer is the optional name for the British Rail Classes 140, 141 and 142, 143 and 144. These are multiple unit rail buses built between 1980 and 1987. The rail buses were intended as a short term solution to a shortage of rolled-in stock with a lifespan of no more than 20 years, but as of 2019, many are still in use. All Pacer trains were scheduled to be retired by the end of 2019. The Rail Vehicle Accessibility Regulation required that all public passenger trains must be accessible to disabled people by 2020. Only one Pacer, the modernised 144E, currently meets this requirement and the remainder will, therefore, need to be withdrawn by that date unless they receive an extensive refurbishment. Furthermore, a Minister Directive in 2015, the Transport Secretary required such, that such rail buses be removed from service by 2020 for the new Northern franchise, starting stating that the continued use of these uncomfortable and low-quality vehicles is not compatible with our vision for economic growth and prosperity in the North. As of April 2019, 140 units are in service for three operators, Northern, Great Western Railway and Transport for Wales. All, oper all operators intend to retire all pace trains by the end of 2019, in line with the statuary instrument to improve accessibility on trains. However, with replacement rolling stock delayed, all three operators will continue to use paces in 2020. The Pacer series were built with low construction and running costs in mind so that all of the pace units feature the following. The use of a lightweight modified bus body and other bus components such as seating with a reinforced driver's cab area to comply with crash, crash worthiness standards. The use of a long wheelbase Four wheel freight wagon inspired underframe rather than the conventional arrangement of two four wheeled bogies. This arrangement has been criticised for rough riding, causing loud noise and excessive wear to the wheels and track on tight curves. At the beginning of the 1980s, British Rail needed to produce new trains to replace its aging fleet of this first generation diesel multiple units, which had been built between the mid 1950s and early 1960s. These first generation units had helped replace steam and had, when introduced, proved popular with the public. At the time, BR was under severe financial pressure from the government and lacked the money to replace all of them with units of similar quality. BR developed two different types of units as second generation appliance. The Sprinter series, a video coming soon, as conventional DMUs for use on urban and long distance services, and the Pacer series as low cost DMUs built using bus parts intended for short distance rural branch line services. The Pacers were originally intended as a low-cost stopgap solution to the rolling stock shortage with a maximum lifespan of 20 years. BR set a challenge to several companies to design a cheap, lightweight train similar to rail buses. Since then, 165 Pacer trains, totally 340 carriages, have been built. By 2015, some of these were over 30 years old. Demonstrator units toured the US, Northern Ireland, Belgium, Sweden, Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia without producing sales. However, Iran purchased redundant class 141 units for use on suburban lines around Tehran until 2005. Pacers have often been criticised for being, poor, poor, be, being of poor quality instead of the more usual bogies. The Pacers use a four-wheel, basic four-wheel, two-axle configuration which often result in a ride which is noisier, noisier and less comfortable when, than other trains. Lack of articulation and result in rough rides, especially over points, and a loud squealing noise around tight curves. The lack of bogies also result in a mo more basic suspension, which can result in a bumpier ride. This is given to the nickname Nodding Donkeys, owing to the train's up and down motion on the uneven track. The basic bench seating can also be uncomfortable. The early units, especially the Class 141s, were also especially unreliable. The fact that Pacers have only been used in certain areas in the north and southwest England and South Wales Wales, but not London or South England, has also created resentment. Concerns were raised about the safety after the 1999 Winsford crash, which involved the first Northwestern Class 142 Pace when its empty stock was run into a Virgin Trains Class 87 Express after it fouled the, the main line at Winsford, Cheshire, on the West Coast main line. The body of the Pacer was severed on its frame to which it was attached by wire straps causing severe internal damage. The unit was written off. 27 passengers and crew were injured, four seriously. However, all passengers' injuries 
but on the other train as the class 142 was running empty at the time. On the other hand, the Pacers have been praised as a pragmatic solution at a time when budgets were tight and have been credited with saving went with saving services on some rural lines which might otherwise have been withdrawn had only more expensive rolling stock been available. They also provided economic operates, achieving a fuel economy of 10 miles to the gallon. As of 2019, the oldest paces are 34 years old. All were planned to be withdrawn and scrapped by December 2019, as they were not complied with rail vehicle and accessibility regulations as of July 2019. Rollout of Norwegian's class 195 CF activities have begun. Porter Book, which owns the class 143 and class 144 fleets, Furbish 144012 in 2014 to comply with the new legislation. Proposed replacement trainers being designed by the Stratford upon Avon based rolling stock manufacturer Viva Rail, which plans to make a market a new class of DMU called the D Train. These units will be built out of upcycled London Underground D78 stock control constructed between 1978 and 1981, which were in service on the district line until 2017. Conversion of the old stock to heavy rail use will involve it using the aluminium body shells, traction motors and bogies from the D78 units and fitting them out with the new diesel engine and interiors. The D trains units underwent acceptance testing in 2015 and Viva Rail pitched them to train operating companies, especially those bidding for the Northern franchise. Transport for Wales replaces paces with a combination of five D trains and rolling stock cascaded from other train operators. In April 2016, Viva Rail North won the Northern franchise and decided to proceed with ordering new built class 195 CAF facilities, which would enable the Pacer fleet to be retired by the end of 2019. Class 195s are vital to enabling the retirement of the Pacer fleet as these will directly replace the Class 156 and Class 158 Sprinter units, which are currently the main unit types operated on Northern, Northern's regional express routes. These related sprinters will then be replaced the Class 150s on other commuter routes, which will turn them replace Class 142 and Class 144 Pacer trains and other local and commuter lines across the Northern network. So thank you for watching this video on the Kaser. We will be doing the class 390 for Virgin soon. And then after that, we will be doing sprinters. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do like the video, like, subscribe, comment. Also, if you like the new intro and that, please say so. And if you want me to add new clips to it, then